Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst for CFDs.com. Be sure to visit the uh, website www.cfds.com for your trading needs. They are specialists in CFD brokerage. Alternatively, visit the uh, website, the educational site www.cfds.education to learn more. Okay, this is a morning market uh, wrap up video uh, of the FTSE, DAX, CAC, and Euro stocks primarily. Okay, so uh, let's try and uh, decipher exactly what's happened. Okay, we basically came off the uh, fact that uh, the Fed uh, left interest rates on the table for December. Okay, so that was considered to be hawkish. And uh, the recent rally that we've observed, obviously, in US markets has been on the back of expectations of a delay in the hike. Uh, so that's very certainly uh, was turned upside down okay and but what was the reaction uh, it's a reaction that's important as opposed to the actual fundamental uh, obviously uh, uh, meaning behind it now, it basically means interest rates rise and not a hampers growth etc etc so given the fact that um, the meeting or from the minutes of the meeting was not as dovish as everybody expected therefore that is a risk off scenario commodities should obviously sell off and markets obviously follow uh, on, on follow 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 uh, thereafter now uh, on the downside that uh, unfortunately did uh, well fortunately it did occur for the first i don't know 10 15 minutes uh, we started to sell off here on the 10 minute candle at uh, uh, 6 or oh, well, 6 p.m went to 6 20 and uh, we put in a pivot low at 6 30 and then we never we never looked back after that okay and you can see that the s p has actually made a new high looking at the daily chart you can see that we actually cracked and, and moved higher on this bull flag and the next level of resistance is around the 2100 on the S&P 500. So how do we decipher or how do we interpret this? It um, certainly is very baffling, especially if the fact that the dollar is moving higher, thereby making exports more expensive uh, and thereby hindering growth uh, and obviously therefore uh, hurting hurting profits, etc, etc. Now... As traders, we can only uh, respect the price action, and if price action is obviously being embraced higher up, given the fact that we have overtly or overtly uh, negative news, or we perceive it as being negative, then one has to sit back and realize that this is actually positive, and you have to respect the the actual strength in the market, given the fact that uh, if I bring up the chart with the volume, bear with me. Let me just bring up the volume here as well. I mean, we actually had a uptick in volume as well, so it was not just a move by itself. It, it's, this move came with higher volume, so there was more conviction. Okay, rather than the sell side didn't have much conviction, but you can see the the, the, the the buy bars certainly have more conviction. So obviously, they must be buying into the growth story. If they if they if they they are given the fact that the philosophy and only only philosophy that I can think is that is that. Given the fact that Miss Yellen wants to increase rates, it means that it confirms that growth is obviously on schedule, and the, we are obviously going to make um, uh, obviously uh, stronger growth and stronger earnings, and obviously employment and so on and so forth. So it certainly does signal a vote of confidence, given the fact that Miss Yellen uh, remains hawkish. Okay, that's one way of looking at it. Obviously, the other side of looking at it is the fact that. If she is not as hawkish, then that's not mean that she doesn't have faith in the global growth story improving, and therefore she needs to do more QE. Um, so that certainly is another way of looking at things. Okay, that is always, like I say, is there are two sides to every coin. Okay, and there's two sides to every market, so long and short of it. And that's the only explanation I can give. I was certainly baffled. I was stopped out multiple times last night. I managed to obviously claw back some of the uh, the losses, but uh, certainly um, I was looking to short the market even after the uh, the Fed meeting because fundamentally it states that you short uh, everything that I've been taught. Okay, and uh, that certainly did not transpire. Very very impressive. Very very impressive. And you have to respect the price action for now, given the fact that the daily chart, looking at that chart there, it's very hard for you to argue on the downside. Very very hard to argue on the downside. Looking at the sixty minute chart. Again, very hard for you to argue on the downside. You had a bottoming tail. The, the bulls certainly pushed this higher. And we made new highs. Okay, at 2090. So again, very, very hard to challenge this chart again. That's all I can say. Okay. So going back to the European markets now. So yeah, the Asian markets overnight, the Nikkei, if I just bring up my global list here, you can see that the Shanghai was up plus 3.1%. The Nikkei, 
uh, was uh, actually uh, up by 0.67%, so therefore positive. Okay. Now we had a, a slew of negative earning releases this morning. So we had a uh, Deutsche Bank um, bigger loss than expected, cut its dividend, Shell post a, a loss, Alcatel, uh, Sanofi, Schneider, BT earnings miss, Barclays misses. So there was a number of earnings that were actually on the negative side. Now the positive side, total earnings certainly hit and, uh, and beat expectations and Lufthansa as well. Uh, and obviously the Shanghai and the Nikkei being higher being the bullish argument. So mixture. Now the weaker earnings certainly propelled European markets low. As you can see, uh, the European markets certainly are under uh, a lot of resistance at present. You can see the FTSE is down minus 0.85% primarily due to Shell, Barclays, BT, Okay, from that perspective, certainly uh, under pressure. And obviously, given the fact that the Fed is going to raise rates, that uh, certainly hurts commodities, and that puts FTSE 100 uh, certainly under pressure too. French CAC, the DAX, etc. Everything is certainly under under pressure. Now, we have had German employment data come out better than expected, so that should certainly um, stabilise things. To a large extent now let's have a, have a look at the technical picture now in order to see exactly where this market is going now looking at the daily chart of the FTSE 100 we certainly are uh, still remaining this rising contracting wedge pattern so one needs to be uh, certainly mindful of that uh, the 60 minute chart you can see that we have this HS formation uh, at present brewing i remain swing short from 6445 i've put that to break even now and i'm expecting this HS uh, to certainly trigger if the uh, the fact that the Fed is, is remains hawkish and maintains its hawkish stance, and that certainly will support FTSE going even lower, given the fact that it hurts commodities. Now, German DAX certainly has held that gap fill level. We were at one time 10,990, I think, or 10,920 overnight. Obviously, we've sold off, given the fact that Deutsche Bank, obviously, earnings, etc., miss. And you can see that we opened at uh, 10,890, and then obviously, we've sold off subsequently ever since. Now, the 10 minute chart on the, on the German DAX holding previous resistance equals support, so technically impressive. And uh, we shall see whether or not we can sustain this movement higher. Now, given the fact that the Fed is obviously adhering to uh, its hawkish stance and, and remains uh, maintains the December hike on the well, December hike certainly remains on the table, then that will obviously be negative for Euro and that should help European equities to that, ex to, to that extent. Okay. Also, don't forget yesterday, the Risk Bank, the Swedish Bank, certainly engaged in more QE. So therefore, and also given the fact that Mr. Draghi has the QE carrot for European indices, it's very hard to short and, and fight against them. Okay, at present. Uh, the French CAC, uh, let's bring up the CAC chart, the French CAC, especially given total earnings. Now, the French CAC on the daily chart itself, let's just bring that up first of all. Uh, we certainly seem to be consolidating. Like I said, that unfilled gap below certainly remains vulnerable at 4,800. We have to say IHS formation in the back of Mr. Draghi doing more QE, and there is an unfilled gap at 500 that needs to be closed. So certainly take that into consideration. 60-minute chart, we are now back into support. We're holding that pivot support level at 4,850. We shall see exactly how this transpires. The 10-minute chart of the French cut, yes, we did uh, push higher. Uh, we were quite substantially higher overnight, but this market certainly has... Uh, given back uh, and, and retraced quite substantially as well so certainly needs to be respected even given the fact that the fed obviously were engaged in the rate uh, hike potentially for december and that obviously means a weaker euro etc etc but again it's all about deutsche bank this morning and that certainly has uh, has put uh, or certainly dampened sentiment to a large extent okay now the euro stocks just to finish off with and wrap up here the euro stock certainly is coming into support i did i did have a diagonal trend line support it hasn't held that it's coming to this double bottom support at 3395 after knocking out a few stops that's no surprise there okay so uh, you are looking at a potential hns formation so this is something that i'm going to be watching very carefully and i'd certainly encourage you to do so as well and we shall see how us markets react any sign of weakness from us markets you're looking at a right shoulder possibly coming being put in around the 3410 3420 and then you are looking at this gap fill to close below at 3350 so given the fact that we have negative earnings etc and given the fact that the fed is obviously going ahead with regards to hiking rates that may well be the uh, the the tipping stone in this market okay so again remain uh, obviously privy to that and uh, certainly respect the price action as we go along i think that's a market wrap just before i finish just the euro usd i think this is always helpful to observe now the euro usd certainly is uh, uh, moving higher at present that's mainly due to the fact that the US dollar is itself is, is actually into resistance. Have I got a dollar chart here? No, I don't have a dollar chart. Ah, yes. Uh, I just see the dollar chart. DJFX. Yeah, bear with me. Okie dokie.
there you go deviate there's a dollar index okay so found the dollar index okay so dollar index on the uh, let's just have a look at this a uh, daily chart at present you can see that we are into that resistance zone on the daily chart okay and then there's an unfilled gap below as well so there are two factors that we're certainly going to take into consideration when trading the uh, the actual uh, uh, dollar uh, euro USD as well. So euro euro certainly is uh, it, so dollar is certainly finding resistance. Sense the reason why the euro certainly is pushing higher, and that's one of the reasons why uh, I was bearish from European equities as well. Okay, so a number of reasons, but for now uh, the dollar index certainly has pushed uh, pushed lower, and that's obviously helping the euro uh, gain strength. It has put in a topping tail now 1.0970. So again, be mindful of that. And the Aussie and the, the Aussie certainly remains under pressure given the fact that we had weak inflation again overnight. But the Kiwi certainly does uh, is is well bid given the fact that RBNZ left rates uh, on hold. Okay, and there's a potential double bottom scenario uh, being observed there as well. So again, that's something that we're going to keep an eye on uh, going forward. Okay, I think that's a market wrap. Be sure to uh, observe the FTSE. But I think that's probably the the major or key technical uh, uh, pattern at present is the H&S formation. So certainly be mindful of that. Uh, with regards to trading going into the uh, afternoon session and uh, we shall see how US markets react uh, soon. I'll be doing a, a US market video later on as well and obviously uh, as normal I always do end of market European analysis video as well. Goodbye, trade safe and be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs.